Well, as the fierce fighting rages on, there is pressure on Israel to set out how Gaza should look once Hamas is defeated. The Biden administration wants the Palestinian Authority under Mahmoud Abbas to take a leading role and has even proposed that the PA reactivate members of its security forces in Gaza. To talk about that, we're joined by Professor Avner Ben Zaken, chair of the Institute for Israeli Thought. Thank you for being with us. Uh, well, recent polls show that 90 percent of Palestinians want Abbas to resign. Um, so so why is the Biden administration pushing for him to take power in Gaza? Well, I, I don't think that it's only an interest of the Biden administration. I think that, that we should somehow overlook the way the Israelis has, have conducted wars uh, in the last 70 years. And in most cases, we'll find that Israel never really determined any political arrangement to the end of the war. And as we've been taught by the theorist of war, von Clausewitz, a war is only an instrument for a political goal. Now, the, the war in Gaza is a different war, because we are not conducting a war against a sovereign that we are trying to deter or to retaliate to, but we're actually, uh, we aim at uh, wiping out that sovereign, uh, wiping out its political power and wiping out its uh, military power. Now, if you wipe out a sovereign, you have to think about who would replace that sovereign. And that's a, a, a pretty legitimate question. And it's not because of any pressure of the Americans. It's, it's the greatest interest of the Israelis to determine in the war what would be the political arrangement at the end of the war. Well, and, uh, well what, should, and, what should Gaza look like um, in, in, in your view? And how much of a role should uh, Israel have? And should there be an effort to keep Qatar out of it, given what happened last time? Yes, I, I think that uh, we should uh, we should first try to draw some kind of uh, first principles for any uh, political arrangement at the end of that war. Uh, first, it would be uh, the principle of total separation of Israel from the Gaza Strip. When I mean total, I don't mean that total as it was before uh, uh, the 7th of October, but even more than that, Israel should not be responsible, neither for its uh, electricity, water, or any uh, or employment, or any humanitarian uh, necessity that the Gazan population needs. Israel should completely uh, release itself from any responsibilities on the Gazan's uh, destiny. They should somehow build up their life without the Israeli uh, intervention. Now, there is a very naked fact. It's inexplicable fact. There are two and a half million people there. So if anybody thinks that he can, re he can really uh, somehow uh, relegate their lives, either by uh, using force in a military way or by taking care of their civilian needs, it's, it's a great challenge. And I think that history has taught us in the last uh, 50 years that we cannot really do it. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do it in the West Bank, we couldn't do it in Gaza before the Oslo Accords, and we could, couldn't do it in Lebanon.